Tourism, real estate and construction have long been engines in the local economy here. But as we move toward an economic recovery, what else might create jobs and bring in money? We take a look at that tonight in part three of our series, From Recession to Recovery. What do you think economic recovery will look like here? Slow. That's Sarasota County Administrator Jim Lay with a sobering assessment of a turnaround that could take years and leave its mark on the Sun Coast and those who call it home. But it's my belief that it's going to be three or four years um, of a slow climb out um, because we were so heavily dependent upon the construction industry here, overly heavily dependent upon it and therefore real estate investment. Industries like real estate and tourism are part of the fabric of life here, but others may play a part in economic recovery. Things like health care, education, the arts, and design. You got one of the top art and design colleges in the country, if not the world, right here. So build upon that because I think we can be a great attractor for different industries, you know, game, game companies, divisions of game companies, um, uh, potentially animation studios and so on and so forth because of the creative people that we have here. Ringling College of Art and Design President Larry Thompson has ideas for Ringling and its students that take the school beyond just a place for education into the realm of economic driver. One idea? Helping Sarasota to become a sort of test market for products geared to an aging but demanding baby boomer population. We baby boomers are not going to put up with functional items to use that are purely functional. I mean, think about walkers and how ugly they are, or wheelchairs, okay? We're gonna want Corvette wheelchairs, okay? We're gonna want really cool looking design stuff for us to be able to use. While Ringling is looking to expand the reach of its students in design, it's also focusing on film, starting a digital filmmaking studio that will attract Hollywood producers and directors. The professionals would work with students, but how would that affect the local economy? Well, it could if you build a soundstage. That kind of facility could be rented out to production companies for things like films and TV commercials. On the set of a soundstage, you have between 40 and 100 people who are employed during that day in order to make that production happen, let alone the set designers and all the others that are part of it. A soundstage would be a brand new addition to the region, but strategies for recovery also include utilizing what's already here, like the arts. Thompson is also the chair of Sarasota County's Arts Council. So the arts are really what make um, Sarasota unique, and that helps obviously drive the economy. It's because if people come here, they decide to buy here, you know, then you're dealing with purchases of homes, and then you're dealing with, you know, the whole tourism industry, and um, as well, the potential creation of jobs because they may move their businesses here. Now, attracting new businesses here is part of the strategy to address the big question for the recovery, how to create jobs. That's the topic for the final part of our series, and we'll bring you that tomorrow.